Now, favorite piece of Beethoven? Favorite piece of Beethoven? Uh, I'd be tempted to say, no, I'm, I'm gonna go straight for Beethoven Symphony Number no. Five because there's such an incredible power to every bar of that symphony. Um, I find it exhausting, energetic, um, quite terrifying actually. The, the thought of performing it is always daunting, mm. but I get so much out of it and I find it exhilarating, uh, especially the journey through in the transition to the last movement, mm. coming out of that um, trip yeah. uh, is, is something pretty much uh, unparalleled, I think. Yeah. Well, I, I think I'm gonna go with another cliche, is Beethoven 9, and it's, it's currently on my desk at the moment, but um, equally, <laughs> equally it, I think I have to agree with the journey to the last movement is really special. Um, he was a master at variations, wasn't he? Mm. I mean, it, no composer, as I kind of go through the thread of it all, it's, it's just amazing how he develops one idea and you can just listen to it constantly, the third movement particularly as well, I just, you can just listen to that melody. Um, but it is the last movement when it all comes together. And for me, it's just remarkable. Yes, the exhilaration of the chorus as well, and yeah. knowing what you have to look forward to, yeah. sensing the summit of the mountain. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And they, they've kind of got to wait the entire symphony, about an hour or something, yes. and then suddenly they're there. And it's, it's so magical to be able to kind of add these forces at, at the very end of this powerful symphony.